Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I'm going to show you a rig for the Ursa mini camera. This will uh, work with both the 4K and 4.6K version of the camera since both of those cameras have identical body, basically size, build uh, and weight. Now I've actually had a chance to use four different rigs for these cameras. So if you're interested uh, in uh, taking a look at the, the video reviews for some of the other rigs, so you can kind of compare them, uh, then the links will be provided in the description of this video. Or as always, you can go to my website at tomantosfilms.com. So here, let me just quickly show you the kind of different rigs that I have. Uh, I have one from Blackmagic, which is the simplest, uh, sort of the original one that came out. I have another one from Came TV, which is very similar to the one from Blackmagic. I have another one from Lamport, which is uh, the biggest, the most complicated one, the most expensive, but uh, also the one with the most features. And then I also have another one from Came TV, which is actually the smallest uh, and the simplest rig out of all of these. So the rig that I wanted to show you in this video is from Lamport, and it's the, the most complete rig that I found uh, for the Ursa mini cameras. Uh, what I mean by that is you literally get everything that you could, I think, possibly want aside from maybe a battery and uh, uh, a lens uh, and a recording media uh, for your Ursa. But otherwise you get everything. Not only that, but aside from everything that you see up here on the table, you also will get a really nice uh, and durable uh, travel case that will fit everything in here, including your Ursa. So that's a really great deal. It's a case that you can roll, has extendable handle, uh, and I actually shot a whole film on this rig uh, in India in some really extreme conditions where they, you know, when it comes to the weather and, uh, and some kind of you know, dusty, dirty kind of locations where uh, the camera and equipment definitely got beat up. Uh, and both the, the case and the, the whole rig that you see up here uh, survived without any problems. Now, uh, it is also the most expensive rig out of all the ones that I've tried. Um, doesn't mean that you have to get this uh, this whole package. You can actually buy just the separate parts. Uh, so let's say if you already have a mud box, you know, or a follow focus, you don't need to get that. Uh, or let's say you already have a side handle or a case. Again, you don't need to get those things. So uh, if you guys want to see the links for all the different parts or the whole complete rig, uh, it's going to be provided in the description of this video. Also, you can find, uh, as always, all the information and a whole lot uh, I have more other stuff about you know other gear and rigs that I've reviewed. Uh, on my website, which is tomantosfilms.com. So anyways, let me just kind of show you how you attach the, the camera to this rig uh, and then kind of you know break it down this way and, and kind of show you the, the, the really cool things that I like about this rig. So the first thing I will attach is the top handle. And that's simply because I think the Ursa mini cameras, I mean, they come with a really great uh, sort of a side grip, which is okay when you're working like this, sort of, you know, like a minimal kind of rig like this. Uh, kind of run and gunning it, uh, it's great this way, but the second, let's say, you want to add something heavier, like a heavier lens, maybe if, uh, rails, you know, mud packs, all that stuff, with too much weight, it becomes very uncomfortable holding it like this, simply because, you know, all the weight is basically to one side, so it kind of twists your, your wrist and can, uh, it's just going to hurt your arm uh, very, very quickly. So here's the top handle that you're going to get with this rig. Uh, cool thing about it is that it, because it's so long, it allows you to grab it in different positions. So as your center of gravity on your camera rig changes, depending on what size lens and battery you put in there, uh, you, can, you can grab it in different places. Plus, you can also adjust the position of it horizontally. Uh, uh, another thing is you can uh, you attach, uh, let's say, some cold shoe accessories. Like I, for example, would attach my microphones here uh, to the top because it has a cold shoe mount on there. Now, to attach this handle top of your camera, you're gonna have to attach this base plate that uh, they provide. And the cool thing about that base plate is that it, uh, aside from allowing you to attach the handle, it also gives you lots of different options for a quarter inch and three eighths of an inch uh, attachment. So let's say you wanna attach a magic arm with a monitor or another microphone or whatever it is that you want to attach you have now a lot of these you know a lot more options basically than what ursa originally provides uh, and this base plate is very sturdy but very light uh, so it's you know very good combination in that sense because it doesn't add to the overall weight of the camera to uh, attach it you kind of just slide it like this it will kind of clip in place and it has uh, basically a break here on this side so it will not ever go basically past there but also once you put it in there, it has like a little safety notch here. So it will not also come off on the other side. The only way you, if you want to take it off is you have to press down and basically the handle then can come out. Uh, so as you can see, you can adjust the, the basically position of it uh, here. You can go basically back and forward. And once you find the position that you like, you just turn this little knob here, tighten it and that's it. You can lift up your camera like this 
And like I said, like, you know, let's say right now this lens is pretty light, but if I were to put a big heavy cinema style lens, then center of gravity would shift, the camera would be tilting this way. But because the handle is so big, plus you can move it, you can, as you can see, easily grab it by, you know, different places. And I used this whole rig in a film that I shot, um, a, a feature film where a lot of times I had to either sort of run and gun, uh, and then sometimes I had to set up this big, you know, like big lenses and matte packs, follow focus, all that stuff. And the great thing about this rig is that it kind of disassembles very fast. And the first thing as you can see is with this handle, uh, for example, for run and gunning it, this, this will be pretty much my setup, you know, uh, battery in the back, small lens. I would have the side grip here. So if I needed to, you, I could kind of operate the camera like this. But if I wanted to, I could just grab the camera with the top handle, get those kind of low moving, let's say shots, or just if I was carrying it, it was just easy to walking around with this. Uh, and it's like I said, it's a very sturdy handle. So that's a great thing. But if I really wanted to strip it down, let's say put it on a steady cam or um, maybe uh, a gimbal or something, then as you can see, you can take off the handle, put it off to the side, and now becomes basically the camera becomes a lot smaller. If, you know, if you detach the battery, it pretty much becomes the same size as uh, what you originally basically get. Um, so, anyway, so let me now attach the. Uh, the bottom here uh, and basically there's like a bottom base plate that now allows you to attach the rest of the rig so you can pretty quickly get that base plate on there and the cool thing about this base plate is again it doesn't add to the overall size and the weight of the camera so it's not in the way but by having this sort of a quick uh, uh, release kind of a base plate that they give you means that now you can put the camera on this whole basically rig that they provide so the rig itself it uh, comes with a shoulder pad. It's a very big uh, kind of a rubber style uh, shoulder pad. You have the airy style uh, Dove, kind of, uh, Dove, Dove style kind of attachments on both sides. Uh, there's actually an, an arm here that I already attached. Uh, also, they give you rails here in the back so you can extend these. You can attach other accessories if you wanted to. Uh, you have rails here in the front. Uh, and you can even adjust the position here of these rails. You can go up and down. Uh, so as you can see, you have this whole rig. Uh, you know, and attaching the camera to this is very easy. So, like I said, you just kind of put it here on top. You're gonna hear it kind of click, and then you have this little lever. You just turn this lever, and it will lock. And this is super sturdy now; it will not move. Uh, but if you wanted to, you can basically take this, and now you can move the camera back and forward. So you can also adjust the overall position. And there's quite a bit of you know basically movement here. So you can go back all the way to here or forward all the way there. So once you find the position that you like of this camera, you just take the little knob here, you switch it, and that's it, it's locked in. Uh, as you can see now, suddenly the rig got a whole lot bigger. Now the whole rig comes with this follow focus. Uh, I've actually used the lens part for follow focus because I already have another one that I got with my other rig uh, uh, for, for another camera that I got with them. So it's a very good follow focus, really nice and sturdy. You can uh, remove these discs here, the marking discs. Uh, very fast so you can clean them. It's basically magnetic field. You have hard stops on there. Uh, you, can, you have attachment for a whip, let's say, uh, cable. You can tighten it easily, but you can also put it basically from the top so you don't have to kind of feed it through through the rails. Uh, this uses 50 millimeter rails, by the way, which are the ones that, uh, that are supplied with the rig. Also, it gives you a little extension arm uh, for the follow focus so you can easily adjust the angle of it and basically the, how far you want this to be from your lens. Once you like it, you just lock it in place. Very simple with this knob. Um, and like I said, you know, hard stops here. You can thing. If you don't want them, you just flip this back. And that's a really nice thing. It just makes it so much faster and easier to work with this file focus. And like I said, it's all basically provided with this whole rig. So here you can attach it to file focus to the rails. Uh, you know, f let's say if I had a cinema style lens, you know, that has is geared for file focus, I could attach it here. This one it just happens to be a simple DSLR lens. Another thing you get with the whole rig is the matte packs from Lenpart. Uh, very nice, sturdy matte packs. Comes actually with uh, you know the French flags on the top and the sides. Uh, also has uh, two-stage filter holder trays. Uh, the one in the back here is rotatable, as uh, so you can adjust the angle of it. Uh, these are four by four inch uh, filters or 100 millimeter square square filters. Um, and the nice thing that really that I like is the fact that it's uh, also rotatable. So you just release this little nap and this whole thing will rotate. So once you have the mud packs on there, like I said, let's see once you have everything in there configured. Uh, and then, uh, you know, let's say you want to quickly change out the lens. Well, the cool thing is you don't have to take everything off to, so you can get to the lens. You basically just swing away the mud packs. 
uh, you know, you can tilt basically uh, lean back the arm from the follow focus, take out the lens, put in the new lens, and then, you know, put the follow focus basically arm back in, put the, the matte wax back in, and that's it. Uh, so it's very, very, um, I guess, a fast way of working with this rig. And now another thing that you get with this rig is this sort of extension arm uh, for the grip. Because like you can see, once you have this grip like that, uh, with this kind of a rig, it would be kind of useless having it there on the, on the side of the, the camera. Especially if you were going to be putting it on your shoulder for kind of handheld shots. So I'm going to take this handle off. I'm going to put it on the extension arm. So there you have it. Um, and another thing you'll notice here is they give you a little extension basically for for the the, the you know the, co the cable that runs basically from uh, from your grip uh, you know to, to the camera because uh, you know you can basically use the original cable to basically attach here to uh, to the bottom of the uh, of the extension arm. But another really cool thing that you have is you have this little latch here. If you loosen this, this allows you to extend the arm. So you can easily kind of fast adjust the length of this arm, which is really, really cool. And this is the only rig so far that I've seen that allows you to do that. Uh, and you can see, let's say you want the arm, you know, extension grip to be really, you know, the, the, the side grip to be really far out in the, in the front, because let's say you have, you know, more weight here, let's say on the front or things like that. Uh, it just makes it more comfortable for you to work with. So there, you can have it like this. And as you can see, you know, you can, like I said, you can change this here, the angle, so you can put the arm lower, higher, and like you can see, you can easily adjust the length of it. So I can now adjust it if I want it to be shorter, just put it there, lock it, and that's it. So it's uh, it's the best, uh, so far out of all the rigs that I've tried, it is the best uh, extension uh, arm for, the, for this uh, side grip. Now, some of the other things that you see up here that they provide is, uh, they'll give you another, for example, um, sort of a you know, handle. So let's say if you don't want to use this original handle that came with it, uh, with the camera, then you can use that. Or let's say you do want to use this, but you want to have basically two handles. So you can have the handle kind of, kind of you can hold the camera on the front with two arms. Then you can, you can do that too. Uh, and uh, there's different ways you can attach it. They give you another extension arm up here. And this extension arm basically, you know, allows you to attach it, let's say to this other dovetail here on the, on the front. And then you can attach this handle. Or what you can also do is that you can put this thing, this is this uh, basically will attach to the 50 millimeter rails. Once you put that on there, you can move that forward and then you can attach the arms from both sides basically because it has the Ari doll do style, you know, here attachment. Uh, also, they give you a little grip here, like a little extension for the, the, the doll style. So if you want to move it further away from the camera body, like to the left or right side, you, you have this little extension. And as you can see, now I can have the rig here and I can hold it here with uh, two handles. And like I said, you can adjust the length of these uh, position backwards, forward. So it really makes it, uh, I would say, really easy to work with this camera, especially once, let's say, you really build it up, it becomes really heavy. It becomes still very comfortable to operate uh, on your shoulder, kind of, you know, this handheld configuration. Now, another thing you're going to get with this rig is this uh, sort of magic arm for, let's say, attaching a, a monitor. And this will attach to the 15 millimeter rails here on this side or the ones, for example, on the back of the, the rig. So you can put this, whether it's on this side or that side. And this is a really sturdy, uh, you know, magic arm or extension arm. So just have this little knob here, tighten it. And like I said, let's say you want to attach a monitor or a viewfinder or whatever it is that you want to attach a little accessory. It's really cool that they provide you that. Plus, like I said, aside from that, they provide you a cable from a PTAP connection to a three pin or four pin XLR so you can power the camera that way. Uh, they give you a whole bunch of other cables. And out of all the different rigs that I've tried for the Ursa Mini cameras, that is the only rig that actually, like I said, is so complete that it even came uh, with the battery base plate. So the cool thing about this base plate is that, as you can see, it has different attachments. So you can even charge your uh, V-mount batteries by plugging in the, the basically the power input uh, cable, which actually comes also with this uh, whole rig. Uh, into this plug here, you can also have a 15 uh, volt AC output. And on the other side, you have a PTAP connection. You also have a 12 volt output, a five volt output. Uh, which is great when I'm using my do-it-yourself uh, SSD to CFast basically uh, adapter with the Ursa mini cameras. Uh, so I can use basically SSDs to re re record all the footage instead of expensive CFast cards. 
Uh, by the way, if you guys want to see how to do that for less than a uh, hundred dollars, then uh, just uh, check out my, my video, uh, which uh, the link for it is provided again in the description of this video. Also, another plug you have is a 7.4 or 8.4 volt uh, output, which you can switch basically between those two by using the switch knob. So it's a great little battery plate and it's just great that it, again, it's included in this whole rig. So as you can see, you know, with this whole kit, this rig, I mean, you can really build this camera as big as you want. You can attach it, you know, the accessories and things like that. Uh, but the thing that I love the most about this whole rig is that the fact that, you know, it's nice sometimes to have this big camera set up and have all these, you know, extra accessories and toys. But what if suddenly you want to switch, let's say, from this big setup to something very small and light, whether it's something for, you know, like you want to have the smaller, more discreet kind of a camera setup so you can do some gorilla style kind of filming. Or maybe you want to put it on a, on a steady cam or a gimbal where you just don't want all this extra weight in this big rig. What I love about this thing is that you can very quickly strip the, the camera down to basically its essentials and it's the fastest out of all of them. You basically don't need any tools to strip it down. All you do is you take this latch here on the bottom, loosen it, the camera will come off. Put the right rig off to the side and then, you know, take it like this and let's say you don't even need the top handle. You can, like I said, move this. Take the handle off. Um, and let's say I'm going to put it on a gimbal. I can even take the battery off. And as you can see, aside really from the, the top and the bottom plate here, if you're ending up with the same basically camera that you got when you, when you, got, you know, got it out of the box. So you can now, you know, let's say put it on a gimbal. Uh, you can then power it, you know, using the, the gimbal's battery. And you have a very small, you know, camera. Or let's say you can put the side handle here on, back on. And you can have a nice and sort of a quick, quickly you can kind of convert to like this really small form factor uh, or as small as you're going to get with the Ursa Mini. Uh, anyway, so this is the rig from uh, Lampart for the Ursa Mini, whether it's the 4K or the 4.6K cameras. Uh, I, I am extremely happy with this rig. Uh, that was one of the reasons why I decided to take it on this uh, sort of a long and uh, and sort of, you know, sort of a difficult uh, film shoot uh, just because of the, the weather conditions. Uh, in India and like I said the the rig held up perfectly the case was a, a big plus because I could just pack everything we could go to location and I knew that I had everything that I needed for my rig uh, for you know and including the camera all everything in that case so that was a really nice thing and uh, like I said it's I think it's the most complete rig out of all the ones that I've tried so uh, if you guys want information for where you can get it the best deals right now uh, different places online and all that stuff then uh, as always check the links in the description of the video or go to my website at tomatosfilms.com Thank you guys and I'll see you next time